All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Tuesday, March 19th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard and have you start us off. Yeah, guys, recording a little bit early uh, at 7.40 Central Time, and I gave out the Heat oh. over 212.5 total points uh, going up against the 76ers. And the games almost at halftime were a little bit below pace right now, 24 seconds left in the second quarter, and neither team has reached 50 points, but both teams are close. I'm hoping for a little bit of a second-half surge. we got to get our hopes up. Yeah, and I've got the Boston Celtics here, minus 50 and a half at home against the Pistons. Uh, they're up 11 or 13 at the half right now, 57 46 or 59 46, one of the two. I think they're reviewing something. But Trey, yesterday we looked at the injury report. It said Christoph Rosing was on there, nobody else. And then today we've got Tatum popped up, Drew Holiday popped up, and uh, Al Horford popped up. They all out on rest. NBA is just as confusing as ever. I don't know why they just don't give us that. The day of, but it's fine. Um, Boston's handling business here. We got a minus 15 and a half. They should they should close it out at home there. Trails go to our player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, and I gave out Desmond Bain over 20 and a half points going up against the Kings. That game has not started yet. I'm excited to get off here and uh, hopefully watch the Grizzlies be a competitive game. Yeah, and I've got Austin Reeves to go over his total points in that against the Hawks. I've got no doubt in my mind he's going to score 20-plus in this game against the Hawks. That defense is horrible. He's going to have himself a day. Tresco, the group play. We both gave up the Warriors minus four. A lot of chat today about the Warriors at home, away. Who's better at home? Who's better away? Uh, I think they're better away this season, but I like the home feeling of Oracle. But I don't know. Uh, I, we both gave out Warriors minus four. They have not started yet. We're recording early. So hopefully we both get a win on the board there. Let's go to the group play for tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty good game. And again, sorry, we're going to talk about the Nuggets. Uh, the Nuggets are going to go on the road to face off against the T-Wolves. Nuggets are the favorite in this game. Minus three and a half, over-unders 213 and a half. I'm going to start. I have not been impressed with what I've been seeing out of the Nuggets. Something is wrong. Nikola Jokic is broken. 16 points or less in two of the last three games. And I'm pretty sure he hasn't touched eight plus assists in five or six of the last seven games. So something's wrong with Nikola Jokic. I think the chemistry is a little bit off. They haven't been scoring a ton of points this season. And the T-Wolves are very good defensively. That's the one thing they do well this season with Cat out. They're even better defensively. Anthony Edwards is taking over this team. I think uh, the T-Wolves make this an interesting game. I'm going to take the free three and a half points at home with the T-Wolves. What do you like? Uh, the spread's kind of begging us to take the Nuggets here. And sorry, Bear, I'm going to bite that cheese. Sure. I know you said the Nuggets are broken, but they're eight and two of their last 10 games. And okay. ever since uh, the All-Star break, they've been playing some really good basketball uh, it's been reported that Jokic actually sent out his text saying, guys, we need to actually start playing like a championship level team. And ever since that text, before at least their last game, they were dominating teams and they had to have a miracle Kyrie Irving shot. And yes, the Nuggets were down throughout that game, but uh, flurried back to make it a tough game there at the end and probably deserved to win. But Kyrie Irving slammed the door shut. And uh, I'm going to take them here. Minus three and a half. We're talking about the Nuggets here. The T-Wolves are without Cat. Uh, Rudy Gobert is questionable, even if he does play. Talking about Jokic. All right, we'll split there. We'll split there. Uh, let's go to our plays tomorrow. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be breaking down this Houston Rockets going up against Washington Wizards game, Bears' favorite team. This is going to be an entertaining Excellent. game to watch, even if probably the public perception uh, deems that it is not going to be. The Rockets, they're coming in this game with a ton of momentum. They're 7-1 and one over their last eight games. And that's put them only three games behind the Lakers and the Warriors for the final playing spot. Meanwhile, the, the Wizards, they are still very bad. They're 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games, even worse if you take that over the last 20. But just over their last three games, they have lost those games by an average score of 131 to 107. So they've been allowing a lot of points and not scoring a lot, losing by an average of 24 points per game. Give me the better team here, guys. Give me the Rockets. They're, they're just red hot. I'm going to take them minus 6.5. I believe that Houston's going to be able to hold the Wizards to a pretty low number in this game. Houston, they just have one of the best defenses in the NBA. So I think it's going to be tough for the Wizards to really get anything going outside of Kuzma. Yes, Jordan Poole, he can catch fire, but also he can clank off 20 shots in a row. In Washington, they love to turn the ball over. In Houston, they force a ton of turnovers. So the Rockets, they're going to get a handful of extra possessions throughout the game through the forced turnovers and also the offensive rebounds. Houston... They're top 10 in the NBA in offensive rebounds per game. So sign me up for all that. I expect Houston to win by double digits. Give me the Rockets minus six and a half against the Wizards. Yeah, I like that play there. Uh, for my play today, I'm going to be looking at one of my other favorite teams. Give me the Orlando Magic back at home minus 12 and a half in this game against the Hornets. Orlando, they've been playing some pretty good basketball, but their opponents over the last couple of games have been the Raptors in back-to-back. -back. And while the Raptors are a bad team, 
The Magic have been beating them by double-digit points in both those games in the last two for them. I think the Raptors, in my opinion, are a better team than the Hornets this season, especially uh, with all the injuries that the Hornets have right now and their lack of scoring. It's a lot like the Raptors, and I think this Orlando Magic team should beat this Hornets team by double-digit points pretty easily, and it should be a rinse and repeat of what we've seen from the Raptors over the last two games. Charlotte this season is giving up 116.7 points per game, but a lot of people don't know that Charlotte's actually the second worst team offensively in the NBA now. They're only scoring 106.8 points per game. The defense, uh, the decent defense of Charlotte does not make up for the lack of scoring, and you need to score points in the NBA nowadays, and barely cracking 100 points is going to lead to a ton of losses, and it has for them. The second best player on this Charlotte team right now is the rookie Miller, and he's having a pretty good season, but the Magic defensively are one of the best teams in the NBA. They're going to shut him down. They can struggle to score at times, but going up against the defense that's not cracking the top 15, they should be able to score a ton of points this game again, just like they did against the Raptors. We're going to be at home in this game. I feel like it's a lot of points, but laying the 12 and a half, I feel like it's not a whole lot of points to be laying the 12 and a half. So I'm going to take the Magic to continue to win by double digit points. Give me them at home minus 12 and a half. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, I'm going to take Bears' favorite player here. Give me um, CJ McCollum over 15 and a half points versus the Nets. Bear always takes the threes. I'm just going to settle with the points here. I really love this over for McCollum in this game. We're going to see him light the Nets on fire, literally, since he is playing the Nets in this game. And McCollum, he's coming this game with a ton of momentum in his last game versus Portland. He finished that game with 30 points. And I believe he's going to want to keep the momentum going here in this one. That's because of his matchup versus Brooklyn. CJ, he loves playing against the Nets. Since he got traded to the Pelicans, he's played against the Nets three times. And in those three games, He's averaged 21.7 points per game, which is over this number. And we've seen McCollum kind of show up here on the road and be reliable on the road this year because in his 25 road games this season, he's averaging 18.4 points per game, which is also over this number. This number is just set way too low. Give me CJ McCollum to go over 15 and a half points versus the Nets. Yep, love the play there from the Golden Goose. Uh, for my player prop today, it's going to be Jalen Green of the Houston Rockets to go over his total points going up against those Wizards. Here we are again, taking a player prop to go over his total points going up against the worst defensive team in the NBA. I attack the Wizards because they give up 124 points per game, and over the last three games, they've been extra bad, giving up at least 130 points consistently throughout these three games. I also attack the Wizards because I enjoy watching the Wizards play basketball. They're one of my favorite teams, like Trey said, in the NBA. And despite their horrible record, I'm looking forward to them in the offseason getting a good pick. Maybe we get someone I know and uh, we can build off that. But for this game, I think it's a good time to take Jalen Green because he's shooting very well from the field. And typically, Jalen Green struggles to shoot. We can get some value in this play with it probably coming out in the teens for his over total points because he's on fire over the last two. He scored 37 points two games ago against this Wizards team. And then he scored 26 points in his last game against the Cavaliers. On the season, Jalen Green is only making 41.7% of his shots from the field. But over the last two games, he's made 24 of his 43 shots, shooting over 50% from the field. We have to take him while he's hot because he's a very streaky player. And while he's on this hot streak going up against a really bad Wizards team, there is money to be made with this play. He scored 37 against the Wizards just five days ago. He loves playing against this Wizards defense. Give me Jalen Green to have another great game against the Wizards. Over total points as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going with the Rockets here, minus six and a half versus the Wizards. Uh, I agree with everything Bear just said. He's going to light up the Wizards and uh, probably lead uh, the Rockets to an easy cover here. And I'm also going with CJ McCollum, over 15 and a half points versus the Nets. He's going to light up the Nets and uh, make a bunch of threes and also just march to the free throw line. Yeah, and I like the Magic here. Double-digit spread, not too worried about it. Hornets are a really bad team. Magic, they score 120 points. They should easily cover that spread. And they give you Jalen Green over his points. He's only averaging 18 on the season, so we might get this in the teens. Don't be surprised, though, if it's like 21 and a half, 22 and a half. I'm still going to take the over for that play there. Guys, it's going to do it for our NBA Plays and Props for Tuesday, March 19th, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want. NBA, NFL, college basketball, it doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. 
So if you get the bear pack gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 